Hello, my name is Joseph Senegal. I teach sixth grade science here at A Leaf Middle School. Today, my students will learn the advantages and disadvantages of using energy resources. My students also are using eMaze, Prezi, Microsoft 2010, Apple product to um, incorporate this lesson. Students uh, did research and it created a PowerPoint presentation on the advantages and disadvantages of energy resources. And today, my students have the pleasure of presenting their PowerPoint presentation. All right, thank you. This is trash. H290, your energy resource. You're welcome. P90, and then your textbooks. Okay, you're gonna read, a, you're gonna read your energy resource. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do so. Heads up. All right, this is what I need for you to do. I need for you to go ahead and close your textbook. Stack them neatly, please. On, on your tables, you should have your rubric, and you should also have a index card, okay? I need for you to direct your attention to the, the board for me. So, you guys know that for a couple of days, we've been working on energy resources, correct? And today, you guys are going to orally present your energy resource. So, the objective says, today when I leave class, I will be able to present advantages and disadvantages of at least one energy resource, okay? But, Gus, with three students at your table, uh, ways that burning fossil fuels negatively affect the environment, okay? Come on in, Quentin. You can grab, her, grab one of those soils and sit here. Come on, I need you to move quickly. Thank you. All right, take your pen out of your mouth. All right, so again, the warm up, it says discuss with three students at your table, a table of three, three ways that burning fossil fuels negatively affect the environment. So I'm gonna give you two minutes to discuss first. You're gonna discuss, then you're gonna write it down, okay? And also remember, while you guys are talking, we're at a level one. Don't forget that, all right? So starting now, starting now. So give me one way, negatively. It's the same question, there's just different wording. It's just, we're just using it, different words. Quentin, can you sit up please? Thank you. I want you guys to go to a desktop. Find a desktop and you're gonna work on your PowerPoint for a few minutes and then we're gonna present. So that means when you go to your computer, you're gonna clean up, you're gonna pre-read, you're going to pick and choose who's going to do what. You by yourself? Okay, you by yourself. So you can grab one of those laptops. Yes, that's fine. You too? Laptop? This group? That's it, yeah. You guys can grab a laptop? This group. Grab a laptop. Give me a summary of what you've learned from this project. Okay. That's what I want to know. So we should we have 11 slides? Yes, that's fine. Number 11, you should have your sources. Number nine, no, number 10 should be a summary of what you've learned. And if you guys did graphs, and then some of you guys didn't do graphs, it's fine. What's wrong with it? Line, log in. Switch user. There we go. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> okay, this, make it darker so that they can see it. It's too light. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Try black. Yes. That's better, right? 
Can I see your second slide? Your second slide. Show me your, I said slide, but. Thank you. Okay, remember, you're supposed to have the definition and three facts for your second slide. So you guys can do that really, really quickly. You have your textbook here as well. For those who don't know what plankton are, plankton are microscopic marine organisms. Other than producing energy or electricity, oil can be used to create products such as Vaseline, gasoline, fertilizer, or plastic. Location. Petroleum is found underground beneath the ocean floor. But politically, in the U.S., Texas produces the most amount of petroleum with at least 37%. And globally, Russia and Saudi Arabia are tied for first place for both producing 13% of petroleum each. And then, you, you, and then the U.S. follows next with at least 12%, with about 12% of petroleum. Okay, I have a question for you. Why should Americans use your energy resource? We believe that Americans should use more petroleum because out of all the fossil fuels, we have petroleum. Petroleum is the most we have left of, but also it's the most common and can be used for transportation. Okay, thank you, Natalie. One more, qu one more question. Um, give me one disadvantage using your um, energy resource. Um, it's non-renewable and when it's tr it gets transported over ships, so if it spills, it causes an oil spill, and it could kill, it could destroy habitats and animals. And it's harmful to us as, a, as, as well, right? Because when burned, it releases harmful chemicals. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Jackson, that you didn't know before doing this project, that, that you now know from uh, doing this project. I just learned from doing this project was how it was petroleum produced at another letter. Okay. Serena? I learned how it can affect several environments and why it would affect them. Okay. Then? I learned how it's like why and how it's more common than any other fossil fuel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, then you did last week about the advantages and disadvantages of using um, energy resources? Yes, yes, yes. You feel more confident, correct? Yes. So we actually, we, um, we presented the advantages and disadvantages and of at least one energy resource. And now you guys should be able to tell your friends about your energy resource that you learned in class today. Correct? Yes, yes. All right, so what I need for you to do, I need for you to turn in your slips to me at the door your rubric to me, all right? Your index cards, turn your index card in, your tray. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Garcia, you did a good job. You guys, wait over there for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you did a good job. Thomas. <laughs>